I went to buy an 835 and somehow wound up with this. Stay tuned. Okay guys, quick unboxing and uh, demo, I guess, of the Sennheiser E935. I actually went over to my Kirkland, Washington Guitar Center. Uh, the Pro Audio guys there I actually like a lot, so I tend to go over there for most of my mics and cables and things like that. So check them out, guitarcenter.com. And the nice thing is with microphones is that you can try them. Same prices as Amazon but they'll hook them up for you, let you demo them. And, you know, I tried the Blue Encore 100. It, it clipped. Um, it didn't seem like as full of a sound as what I was looking for. Tried the 835 and liked it better, but then side by side, switching back and forth, uh, vocals were very close. So, you know, for interviews and stuff, this mic is just a little tiny bit better than the 835. But for singing, this thing blew the 835 away. Um, it has a much fuller sound for my vocal range, which tends to be more bass and baritone. And I think all in all, it's going to be a better all-around mic for me and really wasn't that much more expensive than the 835 in the first place. So let's see what we get inside. Pretty much the uh, the standard. Oh yeah, and by the way, guys, Sennheiser, 10-year warranty. Stand behind their products. And this thing is sexy as hell because I've, of course, already had it out because I tried it before I bought it. So you get the guide, which is in about seven languages and just has some basic how to use the microphone and what kind of pattern it has. This is a cardioid pattern. A microphone so it is not omnidirectional which means warranty guide which means you're gonna have to cue the mic and I'll, I'll do a demo of that once we get it out here so you have a nice lightly padded carrying case um, you know enough to protect it from dings and stuff you have let me get this out of the way you have the mount for a uh, stand There you go, brass insert, um, just a you know standard mic stand mount. And then you have the money, which I think this thing's gorgeous. Some, some opinions may vary. Um, but so there you have it, it's the E935 made in Germany. And uh, righty tighty lefty loosey. So you can take the head off here. If we focus, there you can see the mic itself and some nice little, uh, of course, there's the, the pickup pattern, the cardioid pickup pattern. And of course, why is it called a cardioid pickup pattern? Because it looks like a heart. Oh, so nice. But so here's the, the mic itself and it has kind of... Um, a pewter colored head so it's like a bluish silver and then the standard Sennheiser uh, body so what I've been recording off of is an audio technica and I keep it out of frame because I like to bump the table it's attached to a lot so it's an audio technica 2035 and I have a pop filter on it that I tend to leave behind it because um, of all the funny things I tend to get harsher pops off the wall than from my voice so we'll do some tests with this and I'll do some tests with this just so you guys can hear the difference between, um, you know, they're both about the same price, but you'll see that this is much more, even though this is a slight cardioid pattern, it's a super cardioid. So it tends to pick up a lot wider range, whereas this is going to be very directional. So this is not going to be as sensitive as uh, the AT 2035 as you can see if I pull this away from myself hello 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 and you'll see as you get up into it it has a lot more bass now the other thing is 
As I'm talking and I start pointing this away, you notice you can't barely hear me. So as I bring it back to my mouth, you can hear me just fine. And that's what I mean about cueing. So cueing for reporters is, hi, this is Tim from Timmy Tech TV. I see you're here at PAX 2014. Would you like to tell me a little bit about your studio? And then you don't hear any answer because you forgot to cue the mic. So you need to be like, hey, uh, can you tell me a little bit about your studio and why you're here at PAX 2014? So the unique gameplay you talk about. So you have to have to keep going back and forth. I also went with the non-switched version because I learned long ago that I forget to turn switches on. So now why, why did I go with this? And let's see, I'm not sure, you know, I'm gonna wrap this. There is handling noise and I'm really making a lot of noise right now. If you're light on it, it's okay. Okay, so we'll do a little singing test here, uh, just real quick, and I'll compare the Audio Technica to this mic, and I'll try to do two different kinds of songs, but um, I always forget words, so bear with me. It's only a paper moon sailing over a cardboard sea. It's only make believe if you believe in me. And then this won't be as deep because I'm not as close to the mic and I don't want to lean over to sing, but it's only a paper moon sailing over a cardboard sea. It's only make believe if you believe in me. So this is Tim for Timmy Tech TV. See you later. Now. The end is near, and so I face the final curtain. My friends, I've said it clear, and something, something, I can't remember the words. And now, each charted course each careful step along the byway and more much more than this i did it my way